Maleficent. It's a type of medicinal plant. We can use that to make tranquilizer rounds more potent. This actually works, I'll be surprised. and towers.
Boxes on me right now. Yeah, yeah, you guys leave. See, they were respectful to box kind. Or see, I. saw nothing. Fly, you fool.
Target extraction confirmed. Your objective's complete. Exfiltrate out of the hot zone by chopper or on land. Ocelot said the number of private forces is increasing, and they've modeled themselves after us. They're a far cry from the likes of us. But why? Nine years ago, we made enemies of the world as a nuclear-equipped force, independent of ideology or state. Yes. Sooner or later, the real UN would have stepped in. So why are they giving these PFs free reign? That's our fault, too. What do you mean? What happened nine years ago was a real problem for a lot of people. An organization as big as ours, with our facilities, was wiped off the map. Not an easy thing to hide. But if our existence came to light, so would the names of our clients. We had contracts all over, east and west, from superpowers to banana republics, the lot. Our clients denied all association with the likes of us. They had to make sure things didn't blow up on them. But at the same time, they missed us. They really missed us. The demand for armies for hire was as strong as ever. The international community turned a blind eye to what happened to us, despite still needing people who could do our jobs. History couldn't afford to lose us. As soon as we were gone, they needed a replacement. So private forces spread everywhere. And they're all just a phone call away. But still... I know. PFs are totally different from what we envisioned. Nation states, revolutionaries, terrorists... They have a lot of clients. And Cypher is one of them. Cypher stays anonymous, but I know their work when I see it. In the eyes of those clients, the world's PFs are all just expendable pawns. The clients don't have to worry about losing their own men. Nobody knows they're involved, and PFs are cheap. In short, the world is chewing up soldiers and spitting them out. Even some of the old Mother Base's survivors are still working for PFs. Some guys created their own smaller forces. Others were taken on by emerging PFs. Everybody's gone their separate ways. But none of them are living their dream. Because they're not fighting with you. Of course, I tried to headhunt as Those are raw diamonds. Diamond. Collecting them as assets will raise our GMP. They said they weren't interested without you to lead them. But now you're back. And everything's gonna change. We'll unite all private forces under you. Transcending nations and economies. <laughs> Just a patch of dirt. The bonds among us. The gun will be as loud as any other now. If you have to shoot, be careful. It's a new kind of country. We define the very concept of it. Even Cypher will be below us. An extraterritorial federation of military nations. The United States of Force. I think they can see me. Once word of Big Boss's return starts traveling. That'll be our true deterrent against Cypher. In other words, no one will dare to come gunning for you. How do you figure? Cypher lacks a large-scale fighting force. PFs are the perfect tool for them. But those PFs revere you. The legendary Big Boss. If Cypher killed you now, they wouldn't take it lying down. Maybe they'd even go looking for revenge. But they definitely wouldn't keep doing Cypher's dirty work, even if it put their lives at stake. That's why it's no longer a benefit to Cypher to get rid of you. The very fact that you're alive is our greatest defense against Cypher. Nice to know. It'll buy us some time while we get back to full strength. Just keep in mind that what I'm saying is generalizing a lot. In practice, the PFs around the world don't know your face. Just declaring that your big boss won't be enough to convince them. And if they see you as an enemy, they'll come at you with everything they've got. Some hero. That's why you need to bring them back to Mother Base. Show them on your terms that you really are the one and only Big Boss. Once you've proven that, they won't hesitate to join us. This seems like the most appropriate thing
There was more than I thought. Okay! for <laughs> cancer um yeah the engineer we rescued has been extremely cooperative the guys on the r&d team are glad to have him aboard thing is his specialty is in mechanics but something called bionics engineering based on biology he's already submitted a proposal for modifying your prosthetic arm if you're interested, go ahead and give the development order. Lucky to get our hands on that cyborg arm developer. There's no one in Diamond Dogs who can so much as maintain that thing. Bionic arm, not cyborg, if you go by what he calls it. But you're right, the East is light years ahead in bionics. They can even detect through the skin the slight electrical signals from the brain that order muscles to move. The Soviet Union completed their first bionic arm capable of doing that back in the 60s. Although I guess that news didn't really reach the West. No kidding. Zdornovs was the only one I ever saw. Quite a shock to see it for the first time. And it was no mean feat to get hold of Snake's arm. I couldn't get one for you at the time, but you know, now... I... Forget it. I've no intention of relying on bionics. 
Right now, I need to keep the pain fresh in my mind. Well, it's your decision. But don't you find it... inconvenient? Not a bit. But the phantom pain... it never lets up. Do you know how many men I saw die that day? There's nothing we can do to bring them back. And you expect me to care about getting a measly arm and leg back? <sighs> Sorry. But my pain belongs to all our dead comrades. I'll keep living with it for their sake. It'll guide me straight and true until I've gotten them the vengeance they deserve. <laughs>